Snippets are basically just a collection of pre-saved blocks of text. They can vary from a single character to many paragraphs. Now you'd use snippets for things that you find yourself using over and over again. For example, writing specific types of emails, or if you're a developer, specific blocks of code or CLI commands, or for even more basic things, sharing your email address or entering a symbol or an emoji that you use very often. Here's how you can create one. You can search for the create snippet command then you add your title and your snippet text. You can optionally add a keyword, and we're gonna talk a little bit more about that in a moment. Once it's created, you can search your snippets with the search snippets command. And to use that snippet, you just press enter. Now, if there is a snippet that you use very often, you can even skip this whole searching part by relying on text replacement. So the way that works is that you would add a keyword to your snippet and then when you write that keyword, Raycast will automatically replace that keyword with your snippet. Now, where it gets even more powerful is when you start making use of dynamic placeholders. With dynamic placeholders, you can make these blocks of text way more personalized. So you can choose where the cursor goes once the snippet is inserted. You can choose to insert a specific entry from your clipboard history. You can even insert a snippet inside of a snippet. Now, let me show you some of my personal snippets that I use often just to help you understand a little bit more of how snippets can be used, but also how you can make use of these dynamic placeholders. So here I have a reject job offer snippet and I make use of the clipboard text. The reason for that is whenever somebody messages me with a job offer and I want to reject this job offer, I wanna make sure that I don't misspell their name. So what I'll do is I'll copy their name and then I'll just insert that snippet and where that placeholder is will be replaced by the name that I copied. I also have a snippet to squash my commit. This is basically a Git CLI that I never remember. So I use that just to keep a nice clean history. And I have loads of symbols, especially arrows. And for these, I always use them with a keyword because I use them so often. And another one that I use often is this email snippet. And this one, I've just updated it to use the argument dynamic placeholder. And when I expand that snippet, Raycast will prompt me to choose the email that I want. I know that Bruno has a pretty cool use case for snippets, so let's get him on to show us. Hey everyone, I'm Bruno, the video producer here at Raycast. In my What's In My Raycast episode we posted a few months ago, I talked a little bit about how I use snippets to store some animations and comps that I reuse all the time in the videos. But I recently found a new use case for them, especially now that snippets support arguments. And this is useful not only for animating in DaVinci Resolve like I use, but any software that supports expressions. This one I use to get the real width of a node. And look at this expression, it's pretty big. There are specific numbers that I have to remember. It's a mess. Plus, it references the name of a node twice, which means if I didn't use snippets, I would have to type that twice. With snippets arguments though, I can just store that expression somewhere with a name that makes sense for me. And instead of typing the node name twice, it's just an argument that I reuse inside of the snippet. A tip is if you wanna do that as well, meaning you use the result of an argument more than once in a snippet, you just make it have the same name. Now back to you, Pedro. And one last thing I wanna show you is that you can create snippets directly from the clipboard history or the emoji picker. This is a great way to take something that you copy over and over again and create a snippet out of it, or to create a snippet from an emoji that you use all the time. If you've been using snippets in Raycast and you want to share them with us, you can go to your snippet library and press Command K and copy that snippet URL and paste it in the comments below. If you're not using snippets, then I hope this video has inspired you to try it out.